resistant leaders in this in this country. Tens of thousands, thousands of people backed up up on the hill to watch the death of a leader. We need today to remember him, to acknowledge his sacrifices. As we heard in earlier speeches, he helped, he helped the black people of this area maintain our law and way of life for 40 years. It took the invaders 40 years to control Brisbane. Warrior stuff. And he was tried as a criminal for protecting his country, protecting his way of life. It's such a shame that, you know, like Uncle Coco was saying before, we have all these days. We're in 2015, we're supposed to be the lucky country. But yet, there's nothing here for us, Aboriginal people. We don't acknowledge us. The government, the system, still does not acknowledge us in our constitution, our constitution, our law, the white man's law. It does not acknowledge me. So, if I was to have a child, and one of you white people walk past, that child would not be recognised in the constitution because I'm a black man. Because I'm Aboriginal, and if I want to have a child to a non-Indigenous person, that, that child will not be recognised in the Constitution. Today, 2015, one of the leading democratic nations in the world, supposedly. But yet, we still stand here fighting this system. A system that has been sanctioned by the UN in the last last 17 years. I mean, sanctioned by the UN for crimes against humanity and towards my people. The last 17 years, not 200 years ago. And I challenge you, like Uncle did, to go out and find with these uh, sanctions. All you got to do is just up on the website. And they're there. Over 10 sanctioning in the last 17 years from the UN to our government, condemning them on how they treat us, my people, Aboriginal people, First Nation people of this land. Just last year, at the end of last year, and plan for this year in Western Australia, Northern Territory, those governments have kicked kicked out thousands or thousands of Aboriginal people off their traditional homeland, creating almost 3,000 Indigenous refugees in their own country. Refugees in their own country. Not you, my people. You go to pubs and clubs in, in rural towns, there's a section for black fellas and there's a section for white fellas here and now. Not 60 years ago, not 200 years ago. Here and now. We all have the power to change it. Each and every one of us. To right the wrongs. to change the mindset of the future. I have two boys, five and seven. And I will fight. I will fight for them. I will fight for my nieces and nephews. I will fight for our Aboriginal children. I will fight for the non-Indigenous children all as well. The truth 
the cliche, but the truth will set us free. Once we acknowledge the truth, once we embrace the truth, facts, stats, that don't lie. We are still here. We'll always remain. We'll always keep fighting. Yahoo.